Hi everyone, Feedy here here, and in today's video I will be going over how to find the Plunder Blade, and the steps you need to do to acquire it. Now, how many of you here want your Palico to be a little bit more reliable in terms of gathering monster parts, but at a faster rate? Then let me introduce you to the Plunder Blade, a Palico weapon that allows your partner to steal monster parts on the fly, and provide you with more crafting parts for building weapons and gear sets. Unlocking this tool is quite simple, and the steps are easy to follow, but I have heard many reports from people who have had trouble with unlocking it. Firstly, before you head out, make sure you have raw meat with you, as this will play an important role for getting the Grimkins to talk to you. Also, bring with you the key mantle so you can hide your present from Odo Garon. Next, head to Rotten Vale via Expedition Mode and go to Area 13. This area can only be unlocked once you progress through the main story and stay Odo Garon. Once he's dead and you finish the main part of the area, then it will be unlocked for you to explore. If you can, spawn at Area 11 Base Camp and then head your way into Odo Garon area. Make sure before you enter the zone you have your ghillie mantle on, as if you do it right, then Odo Garon should be coming out of his lair. Now two things will happen depending on how you triggered it. Either Odo Garon should exit his lair, and once you enter into his area, there should be a deadly giante on the ground, and a Grimlicon next to it. If that's the case, then you've done it right, and your Palika will tell you there's a Grimlicon there who looks odd. And once you approach him, he will react and go to area 15. On the other hand, if you go to area 13 and Odo Garon isn't there, nor is there a dead Ligiane there, then you miss the mark, and you need to wait till Odo Garon goes back to his lair with a dead Ligiane for it to trigger. You can track Odo Garon's whereabouts on the map if you have enough track information for your scout flies. If not, then just spawn back to area 11 base camp and go to area 13 and repeat until you see Odo Garon leave his nest. Make sure you have your ghillie suit on as this will allow you to pass Odo Garon when he goes to his lair, or you can just wait till he's far enough from his lair. There is a alternative as well. If you manage to complete most of the other Linian resource task in the other world zones, then he also has a chance to appear in Rotten Rail, and especially in Zone 13. If you can talk to him, he will mention about how the cats are hard to find within the zone. You can either leave and go explore a bit until Odo returns with the corpse, or you can talk to the Linian researcher again once he's in Area 13, and wait a bit until Odo leaves his lair, and then you can look and see if he's left the corpse and the Linian has spawned. Now if you manage to meet the Grimlicon, he will run away and go to area 15 which is just a few walks to the area. Go there and the Grimlicon will run away once again. What you need to do is place down the raw meat, like I mentioned earlier within the area, and go hide. I recommend you go on the cliff on your left and just wait there and listen to what your Palico is saying. Eventually, the Grimlicon will come out of hiding with his buddies and start to dance with joy for finding the meat. You can come out at this point and talk to them, and that's it, you receive the tool. The tool will be very helpful for gathering more monster parts in the game, as you'll always be on the hunt for the right crafting materials. If you upgrade it enough, then your Palika will gain the ability to make the monster drop a certain craft material every time they get hit by it. So it could be a scale, a fang, a claw, or even slinger ammo. So if you ever need of crafting materials from a monster, and want to increase the chance based around it, then I advise you to go get his equipment as quickly as possible. And that everyone is the end of the video. I do hope the video provided enough information for you when getting the item, and if anything, do leave a comment in the comment section if you were successful or not. If you enjoyed the video, then a like would be appreciated. Or better off, sub and share if you want to see more of these videos in the future. But once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.